Hi everyone. So if you've been watching our previous videos, you'll know we've been measuring a variety of different biosignals. But what we haven't measured so far is skin conductance. So we're going to be having a look at that today. So to measure skin conductance, we just use two dry electrodes, as Ali is showing you now. And we just apply those to the skin and simply just measure the conductance between those two electrodes. Together with a 10 mega ohms resistance, we have a classical voltage divider. This one is powered by a 1.2 battery. Just now it's open, so it's got the maximum voltage, but if we shortcut it, we have it to zero. My skin is about 100 kilo ohms resistance, so we should be getting the signal roughly around the 0.1 volt. So the idea is that um, skin conductance is used in classical lie detectors. Um, so as Ali lies, we should see changes in her skin conductance as she becomes more sweaty under, um, under her fingers. And as she gets more nervous, I'm going to find you out. <laughs> so um, just put that on your fingers now. Yep. So um, in previous videos, as you've seen, we've measured a variety of different physiological parameters. And many people claim that these change with different emotions. So we're going to be trying those out as well as our skin conductance. So uh, some of the ones we've got, we've got oscillometric blood pressure using a blood pressure cuff on your arm. Um, so we should see fluctuations in your blood pressure as you lie. <laughs> and then we've got ECG, which we're measuring with our um, ECG amplifier. And then we've got um, a pulse oximeter, which we're going to put on your finger. So this is going to measure your pulse. And as you lie, your heart's going to beat a lot faster okay. and you're going to be panicked. So we should be able to see that in our data. So I'm just going to put that on the screen now so you can get an idea of your resting um, pulse. So we'll know when you're lying. So that's appearing now. So it's looking like you've got a resting pulse of about 53. So we should see that fluctuate <coughs> as you lie. Okay. So I'm just going to change um, our amplitudes just so we can see them a bit more clearly. So I'll put that one up to 50 for the skin conductance. Maybe that's a bit high. Mm. So I'll just take it down to 20. So hopefully that should stay on the screen. So we've got your ECG at the top, your um, blood pressure in the middle, and at the bottom we've got your skin conductance. Okay. So we'll look at changes in those. And uh, the next thing is to inflate the blood pressure cuff. So we're going to put that up to an intermediate level. So that's 70 for you. So we should see that <coughs> appearing on the screen. That looks good. I'm just going to put... Um, the pulse oximeter back on the screen as well so you can see all of the parameters together. So Ali is now going to tell me a story which is going to have lies in it and truths in it. Okay. And so the first few lies and truths are going to appear on the screen so um, you, the YouTubers, will be able to see for yourselves um, when Ali's lying when she's not and compare it to the biosignals and the changes we might see in them. And then you can decide if Ali is lying or not and whether the data tells, she, tells us she's lying or not. So, Ali, over to you. Okay, right. Well, I'm quite excited because I'm getting married this Saturday. So I've been trying to kind of look for cures of like the hangover and how to avoid it and how to prevent it. So I read this paper about Australian researchers that have found out that there's something in the pears that whenever you eat Korean, it has to be Korean. Korean pears, Korean pear juice. If you drink it before you drink, your body just behaves differently or it stimulates some sort of reaction so you don't get a hangover. Oh wow. Yeah, I know. Amazing, <laughs> huh? Yeah. So, um, and I read another one that it has to do with yeast. If you eat yeast or if you have yeast with water for every two pints or something, you avoid getting drunk at all. Oh wow. I know. Okay. So, me being married on Saturday, I thought, well, I'm just going to try it out. So I went out to the supermarket. I jumped in the car, drove to Morrison's, parked, everything was fine. And as I was shopping through the aisles, I couldn't find yeast. So I was just like, mm, well, what's easier, barley? No, just don't <laughs> like barley. So I saw marmot. I was like, perfect. Like, it's pretty close. So I bought a jar of marmot, went back home, didn't have water, so just 
Pride in a Brit and a piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> close enough, close yeah, enough. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was close enough, but like obviously afterwards, pff, how how silly of me. But I ate it anyway. Okay. So um, do you I'm, like marmite? I you? don't actually. So it you was don't? a struggle. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I hate marmite. So I I ate a whole a slice whole of marmite. Just no, no, just a slice. No, I couldn't have it anymore. So I'm I'm thinking about going out tonight and just try if I'm getting hungover tomorrow, which I hope I don't, because I have to work. And I have to be there at 7 a.m. Okay, yeah. that's so, early. Yeah, but that's how much trust I have in the marmaid. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully I'll be fine and I'll be able to get really drunk during my wedding. <laughs> well, you have to come back and tell us what happens then. Definitely. Oh, well, that's interesting. I look forward to hearing what's a lie and what's true from that, because uh, <laughs> I, I really, I'm really not too sure. <laughs> now that I'm well, <laughs> well, if you can tell me, that'd be great. <laughs> So uh, thanks, Sally. No that problem. Really good. So I look forward to seeing what the biosignals tell us. Yep, me too. <laughs>